Hello everyone, my name is Lily Srestha from Nepal. I am from the GVIF Asia Regional Support Team and today I am going to make a presentation on the topic Improving Access to Collection Information in Asia and Africa through the Global Registry of Scientific Collections, also known as GR Cycle. To begin with, I would like to give a short introduction of GR Cycle. GR Cycle is a comprehensive registry of all scientific collections held by institutions from all around the world and is maintained today by the Global Biodiversity Information Facility, GVIF. It is a platform where people can access data relating to the institution, their collections and associated staff members. One of the major goals of GR Cycle is to improve access to those information and to meet this goal in specific, me together with my other colleagues from the GVIF regional support teams are currently engaged in updating the data on collection institution and assisting the interested in institutions in publishing their data through GVIF. For this particular task, we have developed a workflow together with the GVIF Secretariat, which we all follow. It starts with updating the GR Cycle institution and their collections, also noting whether their data is in GVIF or not. We then add relevant labels and comments, and finally, we contact the institutions and offer support for their dataset publishing. All GR Cycle institutions within Asia and Africa are listed as issues in the Collection Mobilization Repository maintained by GWIF in GitHub. The work of update begins with one of us assigning the issue or institution for ourselves to work on. We then compile relevant data about that institution, their collection and relevant staffs by looking up in their web pages and other online sources. Based on the information gathered, we make changes or add information in the institution's GR cycle piece. Also, in the process, we find out whether the institution is already a GVIF publisher and if their collection data has already been mobilized in GVIF. Lastly, we also note our findings in the issue by adding comments and assigning appropriate labels. Sometimes what happens is during our search, we may also find information about collection institutions that are not originally listed in GR Cycle. And for such cases, we create a new institution in GR Cycle and add relevant information. We also log an issue in the collection mobilization repository in GitHub. For the standardization of the workflow, we have defined few levels that we assign to the institutions depending upon their status. For instance, registered publisher is assigned to the institutions that are already a GWIF publisher, some specimen in GWIF to the institutions that have mobilized some of their collection data through GWIF, and published by third party in the case that those data are not published by the institutions but some other organization. Institutions are labeled as collection missing from GWIF if they have not published any data in GWIF yet, However, if they have some data digitized at the institutional level that is not in GWIF, those are categorized as some digitized specimen metadata missing from GWIF. And in the case that those digitized data also contain a media file such as image, media available is tagged. Lastly, the institutions whose collection could not be verified through our search online are labeled as pending collection verification and outside of GWIF scope for those with collections other than species. The next step in the process is to prioritize the institution in order to establish a contact. Contacts with institutions are made either to verify the information or to inquire about their interest in getting their data set published through GWIF. Some of the in institutions to be contacted first could be those with very little information on GR cycle and also online requesting them to suggest an edit. Others could be registered publisher who have digitized their collection specimen but not published or registered publisher who have not started publishing in GWIF. Likewise, institutions which are not yet a publisher but have potential collection data that could be published could also be contacted in the beginning. To contact these institutions, we have developed standard email templates and we generally only contact a few institutions at a time so that we would be able to provide support in case they are interested in mobilizing their collection data. Finally, if we identify data sets that the institutions are interested in publishing, 
we create a new issue for that data set in another github repository called the data mobilization repository one of the way of adding the data set there is to use a suggest a new data set tool from gwif.org where we need to fill some basic information about the data set uh, the form can be seen in the right screenshot here in the slide as well then we assign the issue and start working on the data set together with the collection institution ultimately targeting to publish it through GWI for open access. In this slide, I wanted to show an example of a GR cycle institution from Singapore called the Lee Kong Chen Natural History Museum, which I'm assigned to in the collection mobilization repository. After updating the data about the institution, collections and contacts based on the information that is available in their web page, I noted that the institution is already a registered publisher in GWIF and they have also published some of their collection data um, through GWIF. In addition, from their web page, I also got to know that they have an ongoing digitization project called Signify and one of the objective of that project is to make the digitized data openly available. Therefore, I contacted them to know about their interest in publishing the project data or any other collection data. Based on their response and interest, I added two of their data set in the data, set, data mobilization repository using the suggest a new data set tool that I just talked about. These data sets are now being prepared and hopefully will soon be published. Talking about the progress so far, in total there are 1959 issues in GitHub that is in the collection mobilization repo repository referring to the collection institution listed in GR cycle from Asia and Africa. And out of the total, 1566 are from Asia and 393 are from Africa. Up until now, we have updated information for 256 institutions altogether and closed 38 of the issues as we found that they were duplicates and representing same institution. We have also established contact with 12 of the institution and based on the contact, Four data set from three GR cycle institutions is in progress for publishing through GWIF. With this ongoing work, sometimes challenges arise because the web pages of the institutions are non-existent or inaccessible and even if available, there is very little to no information that is made available online. Also sometimes what happens is when we establish a contact, we simply do not hear back from the institution. And this makes our effort of updating the GR cycle institutions and supporting their mobilization somewhat difficult. Despite the challenges with this work, we envision to continuously improve and expand GR cycle while also promoting open access to all scientific data. As a result of this effort, people can access updated data about institutions and their collections or even data about collections that were not originally uh, present in GR cycle. And by offering support to the interested institutions, we ultimately aim to increase openly accessible collection data. This is all about the work that we are currently doing. Thank you very much for your patience uh, for listening to my presentation. I would be very happy to answer any of your questions or receive feedbacks in the work. Thanks.